Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today's episode is about sculpting and practicing your sculpting. We'll be creating some lips and I'll be going through the whole process of creating some lips but also talking about practice and how you can practice these elements. So first of all I've started with the sculpting layout or default sculpting area so file, new and then sculpting and of course I'm in 2.8. Do remember that there's lots of videos on gabbit.co.uk about sculpting and sculpting brushes and so on. So do check that out, and if you've got any questions, you can comment below, and I try and get back to everybody that comments. So let's start off with our sphere. I'm going to go to my tools over the top here, and down to Dine Topo and turn Dine Topo on. A ball is a fine place to start. I think it's probably a bit too round, so I'm just going to squash it in with the snake hook tool here, make my brush nice and big, go round to the side so I can pull in the front. Remember to look at your Cartesian coordinates up here so you can see where you're at the front. So Y will be the front and X is the side and I can just sort of squash this in really slightly. Now if it distorts like this you've got a very low value on your detail size. So I'm going to undo that and decrease the size or the detail value. I generally prefer constant detail but I'll try and stick to the defaults to make it easier. I'm going to go down to 8 for the detail size and press enter and then again pull this back a little bit. Smooth that out by holding down shift and smooth that out and just squash it in that touch so it's a tiny bit flatter and more like a face. Don't worry about these tiny glitches, they'll disappear soon enough. So let's just smooth that out with the smooth brush by holding down shift and let's just start with our simple draw brush. You can use this or the clay strips, lots of people like to use the clay strips. Maybe I'll give that a go for a change. So let's bring down our brush size and just mark out the area that we're going to put the lips. So somewhere around here. And I'm building up slowly and then looking around to the side to see how far I've gone. So build up, look around to the side, build up a bit more. Because lots of people make the mistake of making everything very flat down here because they haven't moved around their object enough. So I think that needs to go a bit further. Very rough at the moment, of course. And that's fine there. I'm actually going to bring it in just a touch. So I've got my snake hook tool and I'm going to pull that in just a touch. Because obviously the cheeks don't go round this far. So I'm just bringing it in a little bit about there. Let's smooth that out with a smooth brush. And just smooth around the edges here as well. Okay, so we've got an area for our lips. They're a bit high and tall at the moment. So at this point it's worth talking about reference images and I'll put my reference images up on the screen. I'm using Pure Ref, so if I bring this across and maximize it you can see the reference images that I'm using. Realistic images and artists interpretations and these are really good, these sort of things that give you the muscle areas and break the shapes down for you. So those are the reference images that I'll have on my other screen. So first of all looking at my reference images I can tell that this is far too wide in terms of the height value. So let's make my brush nice and big and just pull that down and pull it in like this. Use the smooth brush to just smooth that out a bit. So I've got my lips there and I've got a very rough area sticking out from the face ready to draw my lips. Now with the lips I think a good tool to start with is the crease brush. Let's make our brush fairly small now and let's draw the lips in. So at the end here it is worth pointing out the default is to have symmetry in the x-axis. So I'm in the x-axis here, going across this way, and the front view is the y-axis going in and out, as you can see up the corner here. So I've sort of dented in some dimples at the edge there, bring this across. It sort of goes down really slightly there, up slightly there, and then down again. Okay, so nice and simple there. Brush slightly bigger, crease at the bottom there. And then let's mark out the very top and bottom by holding down control and drawing. So we can mark out those sort of areas of the lips. Okay, so it looks a bit rubbish at the moment. And now we can start thinking more about our shape. Let's dig this in a bit more. Pull these out just a touch more. Okay, so very basic lips at the moment. And now we can start thinking about our shape a bit more. 
So I was drawing those lines just to give me a guide of where my lips are going. And now I can go back to my grab tool this time. I'm not choosing the snake hole because it may distort my mesh slightly and distort those lines. I'm using the grab tool. The grab tool won't change your topology. It will just pull it around. So first of all, to side view, and let's make my brush fairly big and pull these areas in. And again, look at your reference images, see what's going on. And you should have some side view reference images. The top lip always sticks out further than the bottom lip. And just adjust your shape. You might want to smooth out every now and again from the different views. This will go back and in a lot further. So I'll make my brush a bit bigger now and pull these bits in. And then pull this one in again. And can you see it's sort of flat at the front here and this bit and this area here is sticking out too far. So that's what you have to watch out for. Always zoom around front to side so you can see exactly what's going on. And we're getting the rough sort of shape at the moment, very rough. I'm going to give this person a chin as well, just so we can sort of see what's going on a bit more. So I've stuck out the chin a bit and pulled in the jaw slightly, just so it makes a bit more sense. And I'm just going to use my smooth brush around here, smooth things out just a touch. Okay, we're getting there, but I still think these areas here are sticking out a bit too much. So I'll come round to the bottom of it more and sort of have a fairly nice curve going around here. And slow adjustments. Don't chuck it around like this. Slow adjustments. And I tend to tap my brush just like this. So tap, 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 tiny little adjustments. Okay, so I'm getting the rough shape now. Then I think it's time to go back to the crease brush and tidy up just a touch. So back in here, back to my crease. Use the smooth brush to smooth out. And let's put the upper lip lines just there, holding down control with my draw brush on and just make a mark there, ready for those lines. And back to the crease brush and let's tidy this bit up here. So this is with control pressed, so it sticks out. Using the smooth brush every now and again to tidy up. Okay, so we're getting something that resembles lips very slowly. Lots to be done though. But it's really important that you get this rough shape first before adding any detail. If you start adding detail and then you need to change your shape, it can be a real pain. So what I'm doing now, and I suppose all the time, is looking at my reference images, looking at the structures, how people have drawn them, and the real shapes of people's lips. And what I'm noticing is that there's more of a dent in here in my reference images. So let's grab our draw brush and do a dent in here. I'm going to dent in a bit more where the lips meet. So there's more of a curvature there. I'm going to dent more in here as well. using the smooth brush as well. And just a touch around there. To smarten things up. Slowly getting there. The middle sticks out just a touch too far, so I'm going to smooth that off. So now I'm going to just exaggerate the form that I'm seeing from my reference images. So don't copy this bit. But what you'll see is there's a muscle here. 
and a muscle here. And there's sort of an area here and an area here. So those are the different areas of the lips that I've got to try and bring out and emphasize. So I'll just undo those, but I will be thinking about those as I go along. So with the crease brush again, let's bring this dent in a bit more. Dent that end a touch more. Crease down here. And now I'm going to use my inflate brush. Someone a while ago recommended this to me and they suggested that it's better for thinking about sort of muscular structures and when you're filling in shapes because it follows the form more. And it's and I kind of agree with them, it does work. Before I do that, I'm noticing this bit sticks out a bit too far, so let's go to the grab brush, make our brush a bit bigger, and pull that in and smooth out. In and smooth out just a bit further. And maybe down here as well. Let's just zoom out a bit. Does that look like a mouth? Perhaps a bit further back. And use your smooth brush, remember. Now what I haven't mentioned is that I'm doing male lips. There is a difference depending on which male you're looking at, but male lips tend to be a bit wider and generally they're slightly bigger, supposedly. Just gonna smooth these areas out just a touch. Okay, so with my inflate brush, let's try and inflate these areas that I need to inflate. So this area across here Back to the crease brush and just a slight crease down the middle there. So I'm bringing those two areas out, maybe just a bit of a crease down here. The inflate brush again. So we've got this middle bit here that we need to bring out. Might be a bit too far, so smooth that off and then get my crease brush a bit smaller and create tiny dents down there. Okay, how are we looking? Not too bad, but do remember, always sort of zoom out, move around and think, how is it going? I think there's a bit too much shape at the bottom here, so back to my grab brush, a bit bigger, pull that in. Minor adjustments, I think we're getting there. just want to bring this out just a touch. Looks a little bit odd, but it sort of makes sense because their face will go up a bit in that direction a bit more, just so I can get a sense of where I am. That is the only problem when you're isolating certain areas to practice, that you kind of need the shape around it as well for it to work out and to really understand what's going on. So I'm going to do a bit more of the chin as well. Just a bit more. There we go. I might just put a bit of a line in there as well. Now, can you see the problem I've had? What I forgot was that I was using relative detail and that messed up some of my topology when I zoomed out. So do be careful of that. That's probably why I prefer constant detail, I would say. It's not too much of a problem at this stage, but it might be as you go more detailed in the future. So let's smarten that up just a touch. So I've drawn across it and then smoothed it out and you can see the topology it adds. Smooth out a touch there, okay. So I've got a reasonably okay structure now and now is the time to add the details and that is with the crease brush which I've got on at the moment and a smaller brush holding down control getting the actual outline of the lips now. Careful not to go too far, so move around to the side, see how it's going. I want to dent this in a lot more. And bring this area out, so holding down control. It's not looking too bad. 
I'm going to dent in here a bit more. And use the smooth brush and hold down control and just sharpen those up a touch so they're a bit more prominent and I'm going to go down a detail level so I'm going to go down to about five brush a bit smaller let's dig in here and see how that new detail level is so obviously I'm getting finer lines now Increase this area a bit more. In my reference images, I've got a crease just around here. And there's little creases in here as well. So I'm going a bit more detailed now. I'm going to smooth this area out and put a bit of a crease in there. And the same with the top, crease in here, so I'm holding down control, creasing that area up. And I might just make this area a bit more dimply. So I'm using my crease brush around there. A bit more of a smooth area there. And it's a bit flat just there, just a tiny bit flat. So I'm going to get the inflate brush, just plump that bit up a little bit. I'm quite light on my graphics tablet. Now because this has more detail, it looks a bit strange compared to the other bits. So I'm just going to really lightly brush over them and then smooth them out so they all have the same topology. I'm just going to get the crease brush as well and do this bottom jaw here. I'm noticing on my reference it sort of curves like this a bit more. So I'm going to do that because it is quite close to the lips and will make a bit of a difference to the shape. So I think I'm ready for some detail now and it may be that you're happy with this point. It does depend on how new an artist you are and how much you need to practice so you might be fine at this stage and at that point I would then start afresh or make a new ball and start again doing the same thing that I've done before and maybe do three or four of those to practice. It's that repetition that will help you. I'm going to go a tiny bit further, so up the detail level to about three, zooming in. And I've zoomed in a bit closer to my reference images as well. And using the crease brush, I'm just going to crease some areas that I've noticed or that you can see in the reference images. So I've put a few creases in, I'm going to smooth them out just a touch and then I'm going to turn symmetry off and add some fine details, so really thin brush now. And I'm just varying the brush size just a touch as I create these sort of lines. Smoothing out areas that may have gone a bit too far and just adding a bit of sort of randomness to it really. Now adding some very fine lines. Go down one more level to a two for some very, very fine detail. And there we go, at that point I think that will be enough. And like I say, three or four of these to practice your skills and then when you come to do a face or a character even you'll find it much quicker to produce the lips in future. Okay I hope you're enjoying these sessions like I say if you've got any thoughts then do comment below and remember to go along to my website for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.